got the, the uh, Monopoly on the cackling. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in here. We got Johnson & Wales University women's soccer finishing up the doubleheader tonight versus Washington Adventist. Both teams take the field now. We'll send you down to our PA addresser, Chris Plano, for tonight's starting lineups. Washington Adventist University, number one, Laura Perez. Number two, Charles e. Davis. Number three, Jennifer Gonzalez. Number four, Diana Joya Larios. Number five, Brittany Schultz. Number seven, Jennifer Santos. Number eight, Elena Estel. Olita Amazuna. Number 17, Kennedy Cruz. And number 19, Melanie Villanueva. Washington Adventist University head coach by the Alec Martinez, the coach is Alex Sandoval, the assistant is Daniel Azuba, and the manager is Nicolos Guzman. All right, Wildcat fans, let's get in our feet and greet our Johnson Wales University Wildcats! A senior from Waynesville, Ohio, and playing goalie number one, Kyle. Central eyes of New York, one of the team captains, number two, Danielle Doyle. A junior, Cleveland, Ohio, number three, Naya Hill. A junior, Virginia, the other team captain, number four, Mara Trucey. A freshman from Chicago, Illinois, number eight, Evelyn Garcia. Junior from Monroe, North Carolina, the 13th captain, number nine, Jaden Smith. A freshman. 
one from West Columbia, South Carolina, number 12, Ashtray Pickett. Go Pickett! A freshman from Lexington, North Carolina, number 13, Betsy Martin. Go Pickett! A senior, Spring Hill, Tennessee, number 14, Ashtray Martin. Go Lexington! A senior, Mid Hill, North Carolina, number 16, Ashley Allen. Go all right, Wildcat fans, there you have the starting lineups for Wildcats against Washington of Venice University. This is the second game of the season series. Washington and Venice won up in Tacoma Park, Maryland 2-1 back on August 31st in the first of these two matchups against the Washington, Johnson and Wales. So Wildcats will be looking to return the favor here on their home field tonight as we are just about ready to get this one started. It is game time. What's the temperature, Chuck? It's a bit chilly out here. It is. We've gone to the gloves and the jackets and everything to keep ourselves warm. It is 56, although I'm having a hard time believing that. But that's what the old weather app tells me. No wind to speak of at all. And the lights are on. No sunlight to contend with here this evening. So teams are huddling up now. Coach... Matt Heisler giving his team a few last-minute instructions before we get this one going. Then we'll turn you over to the voice of the Wildcats, Kelly Turner, for the call of tonight's action. All right, Washington Venice on the right side of the screen. As you said, both teams in the huddle right now. The shock will be in the dark blue, basically black on your screen. And the Wildcats there in their huddle is where? They are wearing white. They'll be going left to right on your screen. In case you missed those starting lineups, a goalkeeper for Washington and Venice. Number one, Laura Perez. She's in the bright yellow with the goal. Number two, Charlie Davis. Number three, Jennifer Gonzalez. Number four, Diana Joya Larios. Number five, Brittany Schultz. Number six, Jennifer Santos. Number seven, Elena Ertel. And number eight, Jennifer Portillo. Along with number 15, Michelle Amaguana. Number 17, Kenya Cruz. And number 19, Jacqueline Malloy. Wildcats will get this one started out front. Danielle Doyle, number two, along with number nine, Jaden Smith, number eight, Evelyn Garcia, and number 14, Ashley Lunsford. And at the top of your screen, number four, Lana Trusi. In the middle of the field, number 13, Betsy Martinez, and number 18, Abigail Duraso. In the back line, number 16, Ashley Allen, number three, Nia Hill, and number 12, Ashley Pickens. And there's Pickens with the first touch. Has Lunsford ahead, Garcia inside. And the shot come away with it. And that's Amaguana. And it finds Duraso. Gets around one defender, and Hill sends that one ahead across midfield. Played down by Doyle. In the mix of three shock players there. And now it's Jaden Smith. Swings it across, finds Lana Trusi. Trying to use her speed, unable to get around Millie. Trusi gets it back, works her way up the sideline. That one played out of bounds by Elena Ertel. Top of your screen on that far sideline. That one. Play. And Trucy both there. Trucy fighting for it. Shot come away with it. And Ertel gains possession for Adventist. Played down by Duraso. Looking to head back to Trucy and finds Garcia middle of the field. Let's a roll. And unable to get to it is number three, Jennifer Gonzalez, fighting around Nia Hill. Some three-on-three -three action there. Wildcats get it across midfield. It'll be played back by Millie again. And this time out of bounds. They're going to say it's a Wildcat throw in. If you the men's matchup between these two teams. Johnson and Wales came out on the good end of a 2-0 score. So they improved to 8-1 and one on the season. Doyle, middle of defense, look at the foul call. So free kick, about five yards outside the box, middle of the field for Doyle coming up. Great opportunity here for the Wildcats.
Pickens, Trucy, Garcia, and Smith on the left side, just outside the box. Lunsford to her right. It has Duraso right next to her, a little bit behind her on your screen. And ready to go, Doyle lines it up. Doyle sends one right at the keeper and wide left out of bounds. Doyle was trying to find Trucy streaking in from the left side. I couldn't quite make the connection. So number one, Laura Perez, goalkeeper for the shock. Stays in goal as that one's sent out by her teammate. Trucy plays that one in and it's gonna roll back to Perez. High bounce, fighting for it is Garcia, along with a shock defender. Garcia taps it down to Pickens. Now Ricochet's off her foot, and it's going to find Santos, works her way through the middle of the field, and Smith cuts that pass off. But it finds the foot of Portillo, and it's going to roll all the way back in that far corner. It'll be a Wildcat throw in. Pickens toss it in, has Lunsford in front of her, and quickly tapped out. Gotta say, Chuck, it's hard to call out numbers for the shock team. We got numbers on the back of their jerseys, so we'll do our best to call the names out, but if we can't see it, we're just gonna say shock defender or shock player. Four minutes gone into this one, no score. Johnson and Wales University women's soccer taking on Washington Adventist. Last game of this double header here tonight, the Ortho Carolina Sportsplex. Johnson and Wales University men's soccer team got the first win tonight, 2-0. That one played into Kylie Pretty, the goalkeeper in the gray shirt. Scoops that one and looks ascended deep, middle of the field. High bounce, everyone kind of goes away from it. And then gathered down by the shot, Doyle and Lunsford applying the pressure there for the Wildcats. Back in Nia Hill there, looks to feed Lunsford ahead, and Lunsford, a little burst of speed, gets by one defender, tries to get by another before she's cut off by Charlie Davis. Across the go, good steal by Duracell, but gets it right by Lunsford, and it's gonna roll all the way out of bounds. Wildcats ranked number eight in the latest USCAA Division II coaches poll. Washington and Venice ranked number seven in the Division I coaches poll. So matchup of a couple ranked teams from different divisions here tonight. Trucy trying to track that one down for the Wildcats, but it'll roll out of bounds. It's going to stay with Johnson and Wales. So it'll be a Wildcat throw in right in front of the Ventist bench. Got a few other games. Closing out this weekend here, Chuck, you want to give us the rundown for the homecoming events for Johnson and Wales? Yeah, this, this is the first of three big days of Wildcat Athletics all at home tomorrow night as part of homecoming activities. Volleyball is on the docket, 5.30 first serve against Tacoa Falls in the Wildcat Center gym. And then on Saturday we have another soccer, soccer double header, 12 o'clock women's soccer against Piedmont International, and 2 o'clock, Following the conclusion of the women's game, we'll have men's soccer also against Piedmont International. So if you are able to, we'd love to have you come out to these events. If you can't, we'll have all the action for you right here on the Wildcat Sports Network. So tune in wherever you are, and we'll have everything for you. Doyle, a nice feed ahead to Lunsford. Centers one, and coming up as Perez falls on that one. Good job by Perez as Trucy was lurking on that left side. Slunsford sent that centering pass in there. So that ball falls right in front of Jaden Smith. But Portillo comes away with it for the shot. Works away across midfield. Four defenders around her. Kicked off the heel of Gonzalez. Back to Portillo. Lunsford right in front of her. You can hear Naya Hill calling out to her 
fellow teammates. Wherever you are, you can probably step outside your house and still hear Anaya Hill. Ball now top of your screen on that far sideline. Malloy gets it ahead. And Martinez trying to track it down before it rolls out of bounds. There will be a throw in deep in the far corner for Washington and Venice. The dark side of the field as we call it. Lighting not as good as it was last year on the field, but we'll do our best to get you the play-by-play -play of it. I think there's a bulb out over there. The other one is not at full strength either. It makes that corner, as you mentioned, Kelly, kind of dark. So middle of the field is Joya Larios. Now sends it across to Davis, back across midfield. On the Wildcat side, fighting for it is Duraso and Doyle. Duraso pauses, tries to find Lunsford, but instead finds Gonzalez at the shock, bounces off her foot. Gonzalez able to track it down. Lunsford and Pickens both in front of her for the Wildcats. And that's going to roll out of bounds. It'll be a shock throw in. Throw in from Schultz, middle of the field. Quick shot's going to skip past Allen and roll back to Pretty. Easy grab there for the goalkeeper. Nice kick from Pretty across midfield. It's going to fall on the foot of Garcia. Looking to play it ahead for Trucy before she's cut off by Ertl. Still fighting for it, looking to get around. Ertl comes away with it and wins it for the shock. Portillo works her way through the middle, has Doyle in front of her. Tia still with it. It's going to come down to Amaguana. Alice, give and go. Looking for Joya Larios. Gets by one to Santos. Santos launches one. Good save from Pretty. Pretty had. As good scoring chance for there for the ball from finding the back of the net. Foul call it on Garcia, the Wildcats. It'll be a free kick just across the Wildcats side of the field. The shot quickly played in. It's going to roll back to Pickens for Johnson and Wales. Just a little bit far ahead of her. And the shot will play it back all the way to Davis. And that kick out of bounds. It'll be a Wildcat throw in. Bottom of your screen, Pickens. Looks at toss. This one, still no score. Johnson and Wales University women's soccer. Wildcats in white. And the shock are in blue. Of Amaguana. Centers across midfield, gets by one defender before Duraso cleans it up for the Wildcats and finds Trucy ahead, gives it up to Doyle. Trying to feed it right back to Smith. Working away through the middle of the field, has Trucy calling for it. Nearly ricocheted right to her. And then played out off the foot of Hill. They're going to get the whistle blown. Call on the Wildcats. Foul spotted by the officials, our officials tonight. In the Halloween spirit, wearing orange and black. Spooky. So off the free kick from Ertl. Shock on the attack again, this time right at midfield. Ertl again with it, crosses mid herself, and that ball played up the side. Ahead to Portillo. High centering kick will be played down off the head of Pickens. Still trying to gain possession is Lunsford there as well. That's going to find Amaguana right in the mix. A few Wildcats before Ashley Allen boots it out. Taps around there still. Shock with it. Durso centers across. Pickens has to track it down. And a box out. 
from the shock player on Pickens. That was Gonzalez. Gonzalez will leave it for Schultz to throw it in. Excuse me, it'll be a free kick. They'll get the foul caught on Pickens. A little shove in the back on Gonzalez as they're working their way out of bounds. Ertl will come over. Ertl lines it up. Sends one in. Short kick played up out of the box, and Garcia comes down with it for the Wildcats. Taken right back was Amaguana. Shock still with possession. It's Schultz working around Doyle. Plays it back to Davis. A lot of green in front of her. Davis short kick in front. Duraso's there for the Wildcats. And Duraso gets cut off again by Davis and sends it back to the other side of the field to Malloy. 32 minutes left in this first half. No score. Ball top of your screen now on that far sideline. Able to keep it in. It was Martinez, but finds the shock player immediately. Trying to thread the needle inside of Amaguana. That pass kicked out. Still in place, centering kick, attempt not there. Job by Hill to clear that one away. Trying to create space for herself was Bertillo on Smith, but great defense and hustle from Smith, not letting her get a shot off. That one tipped up by Lutz. Going to let it roll back to Pretty. Pretty await for traffic to clear and send this one over the midfield stripe. It's going to find Doyle. Leaves it for Trucy. Trucy, Lunsford, Garcia, and Smith right in the middle of the field. Doyle and works away ahead. Balls back to Duraso and across to Martinez. Gets around one defender, still has it, fighting for it now against Cruz. And Doyle now squeaks out in the middle of traffic. Gets triple team there. Amaguana in the mix. Ball goes right by one defender off the foot of Malloy and sent it out by Ertl. Now the shock looking to cross into midfield, but that one played out off the foot of Smith. It'll be a shock throw in right in front of the scores table, top of your screen. Durso there in the mix along with Trucy fighting for it. Short hop, played down by Garcia. Looking for Gonzalez, near side, has Pickens in front of her. And that ball kept alive. Nope, out of bounds, off the foot of Schultz. Couldn't get the one touch ahead to Gar Gonzalez, as Pickens will toss it in quickly to Garcia. And they're going to call the foul there. You heard it from the fan, it called it first, and then the official blew the whistle. I think they'll get Schultz for that one with the push in the back on Garcia. So Lunsford waiting for Gonzalez to back up a little bit, and the official cautions her to do so. Moves her back a little bit as Lunsford, nice kick ahead. Tried to play it in front of Doyle just a little bit too far, and Perez will come up to grab that one. Good kick by Lunsford. Almost got it onto Danielle's feet there in a dangerous spot. High kick from Perez off the head of Duraso. Played down, but right to Amaguana. Trucy tracking back to get on defense. Martinez there for the Wildcats. It's going to kick it back down that sideline. She won't be able to get to it. She does, actually. And Allen boots it right, but it's going to find the foot of Santos. Working the way into the box now is a shot. Shot on goal. Grabbed by Pretty. Shot from long range there by the shot. Pretty in the right spot at the right time. Gobbles that one up. A kick from Pretty. Right at midfield as Allen boots it ahead. Doyle Applying the pressure again, and Perez will have to come up and kick it away. It's going to go on the right side of the field on that far side. Trying to keep it alive is Cruz. Working on Smith and Martinez. Smith comes away with it, and Martinez there as well for the Wildcats. And it will roll out of bounds for a Wildcat throw in. 28 minutes left in this first half. Johnson and Wales University women's side.
Shock half control now. It's Davis. Plays it on the far side of the field, up ahead to Cruz now. They're wake their way into Wildcat territory. Give and go back to Cruz. And that pass cut off by Allen. He gets it ahead. Now Ertl. And that pass, oh, just out the reach of Schultz. And runs to toss it in. Bottom of your screen, Ashley. Sends it into Garcia. It's another throw in. This time looking for Lunsford and again kicked out of bounds. Sales. Pickens to talk. They cut off there by three shock players. Still fighting for it though. Inside the box, Garcia, good effort. Yep. And they'll get the call. Just a little too physical there was gone. That wouldn't have been. But nevertheless. Finds lunch for the Wildcats. Three finish. Get out. Box. Good job, Ross Cordell. Smith had that one, and she was ready to line it up for a shot. Ertl came over and cut it off, wisely so, for the shot. There or so. Place it back to Nia Hill. Headband tonight. 25 47 left. For there. Still with it, finds Gonzalez. Up ahead. So, free kick. It will be Ashley Allen looking to boot this one away. Turning around as Partillo, working away through the middle. But now Wildcats on the attack, trying to lead ahead for Trucy. Defense again by the shot. Trucy falls down. Knocked it out. And... Durso short kick, finds Smith. Wildcats still with it. Garcia went right behind her. Back to Durso. And now the shot come away with it. Amaguana gets it ahead. Played down ahead. Using her speed. Number six, Santo. Still alive. Wow, had that ball not go out of bounds. Good work there by... Oof. Pretty in Hill and Ashley Allen to keep that ball out of the back of the net. It winds up. But again, Pretty Hill and Allen doing the job on the back end for the Wildcats. The Ertl, the lone man back. See ya. The shock on the attack again is Sam. Side looks to center it. Kicked up. And Duraso now comes away from traffic to bring it ahead. Finds Trucy. 23 10 left. First half, no score. Able to find the back of the net. There, so middle of the field fighting off Hamaguana. Finds Martinez. Martinez gets it ahead to Trucy across midfield. Trucy gets by one defender, works her way through the middle now. Trying to leave it for Doyle, too far in front. And the shock regain possession. Ertl 
excuse me, Schultz trying to play the head of Gonzalez. Gonzalez wasn't hustling downfield on that play. I think Schultz was a little frustrated with that. It's going to be a Wildcat throwing, Pickens to toss it in quickly to Garcia. Garcia left alone. We'll play it back to Pickens. Off the foot of Lunsford. It's going to go back to Schultz of the shock. Turns around and leaves it middle of the field. Turning upfield now is Portillo. Reverses course, tipped away by Doyle. And High Hill's going to take that pass for the Wildcats and send it out of bounds near side. It'll be a shock throw in. Schultz to take it. Shomer's got the deflection off of Martinez, which would have resulted in a Wildcat throw. Pass inside taken by Durso. Could have been a handball there. That ball kind of popped up a little bit. 21-26 left, first half. No score in this one. Ball on the top of your screen on that far sideline. Wildcats thought that ball was going to roll out of bounds, but the shot kept it alive. Good hustle. That was Malloy, I believe, over on that far side. Allen plays that one ahead, but nobody home for the Wildcats. It'll roll all the way back, and Ertl will keep it alive in play. Gonzalez down here on the near side, left all alone. Amaguana, middle of the field with it now. Gonzalez still left all alone, calling for it. Lunsford got the steal. Lunsford trying to use her speed, but Perez there scoops it up. Good anticipation by Ashley Lunsford there. Saw that pass coming from halfway across the field, and she was in a full trot to get to that one. And almost was That's, able to control it enough to get in with the keeper. looked very close to the steal that the men's team got in the first game before this one, where Wigginton scored on the steal within 35 seconds of the start. Very true. And that pass taken by Portillo. Looking to get it ahead to her teammate, but the pass not there. Duel tries to fight off two players, finds Trucy. Duel now on the outside, working away at the sideline. They go out of bounds. It'll be a Wildcat throw in. Under 20 minutes to go in this half. Ball into Jaden Smith. And taken by Portillo. Portillo's been very good. One on one situation. Now it's going to be back. Hill has to chase it down. Good recovery by Nia Hill now. Works away in front of Trucy. And again, it's Portillo in the mix of things for the shock. Smith trying to use her speed along with Doyle. They get it across midfield, but not before the shock take it right back. It's Gonzalez with it. Loses it off her foot to Pickens. Pickens, Pickens. Keep going, Pickens. And Pickens' pass gets cut off, and Lunsford will be back to clean it up. And it'll be Washington Adventist throw in. Schultz to take it. Amaguana gets around one defender. Nice move there. Finds Gonzalez. Near sideline in that far corner. Gets around Pickens. Works away into the box. And that kick wide left of the goal out of bounds. Goal kick coming up for Kylie Pretty. 18-30 left before halftime. No score in this one. So pretty centers it, quickly sends it over to Hill. Oh man, Hill lets it go right off her foot. So Schultz will run down, try to get the quick throw in. Say so Wildcats need to recover quickly and set up the defense. Get it out, White! And they do. Looking for Portillo, finds Amaguana. Cross to Joya Larios, back to Amaguana. One man to beat, it's Hill. And it's going to send it down the sideline, but out of bounds. So it'll be another throw in just about from the same spot for the shock. Again, it'll be Schultz with the throw in. Wildcats will take the throw as opposed and to the corner. That should be a handball. It is the foul on the shock. Handball on Gonzalez, lead the free kick for Lunsford.
Lunsford lines it up. Directing traffic over team. Sends it middle of the field. Headed up off of the Rios. It's going to be played back to Davis. It's going to play it back to the goalkeeper, Laura Perez. So we cross under 17 minutes left in this half. Ball's going to find Lunsford of the Wildcats. Looking to center for Doyle. Good Kicks line. it up. Kind of gets held up by Ertl. And shot come away with it again. It's Portillo. Leaves Two there is Cruz and Malloy. It's going to wind up with the foot of Malloy. Right back at her off the chest of Martinez. And then back to Malloy. Jaden Smith showing some hustle there, running that down, winning the throw. Let's go, guys! Keep it on this half! Martinez is going to take it on that far side, right in front of the scores table. Throws it into Smith. And off of Smith's foot out of bounds, it'll be a shock throw in. So Martinez in the shock thrower will replace spots on the field. So there again, takes that pass, finds Smith. Doyle stops on a dime, creates some space in front of her. Now works her way upfield. Looking ahead for Trucy. Good job by Ertl as Trucy had gotten past her. Doyle was looking to find Trucy, streaking up that left side. Wildcats will have a throw now. Martinez finds Smith again. This time Smith keeps it in play, but Duracell backed up and streaking ahead as Portillo again got the steal. Portillo's got to wait for some teammates to get in front of her. She had Santos calling for it. I don't think she saw her. Santos now in that far corner, the dark side of the field, top of your screen. Kicked out by Martinez. It'll be a shock throw in. 15-14 left in this half. No score yet. Portillo with it again. Back inside to Amaguana. Nice feet ahead. Trying to get to it. And they do. Keep it alive on the end line. Works away inside the box. Santos launches one again right at the goalkeeper as Pretty grabs that one. Again, Pretty right spot in the right time for the Wildcats as she was right there to take that one. She'll boot it skyward. Played off the foot of Portillo, out of bounds. And we'll get stoppage of play for some subs here for the Wildcats. Number six, Jacqueline Gomez checks in. And number 23, Aubrey Anderson. Aubrey Anderson with the blue hair, supporting the Wildcats here with the blue. I think last game it was kind of like a goldish pink. This week it's blue. Again, she's middle of your screen, right in the circle there on the right side. Six, who has it right now, Jacqueline Gomez working away up the field. Nice feed ahead. Can Anderson get there? Nice cutoff from Gonzalez. Able to get back. Look at the box out, Anderson. And it'll be a goal kick. Anderson had her first career two-goal game last time out and just missed a hat trick. She had a couple opportunities to get that hat trick in that game. There were, what, four Wildcats with two goals apiece? Four with two in that game, absolutely. Kick sent in midfield. It'll be free kick. Move the ball just about 30 yards up the field now for another one as Ertl will line it up. Quickly sends it over. Far side. Looking ahead for Cruz. Turns inside. Looking for Patillo. Pops one up. Santos tracking it down. Wildcats trying to get back. Allen there. And that one will high kick and again right to Pretty. I think I saw Pretty signal for a fair catch on that one. That was, was in like the a, air a long a pooch, time. Pooch punt for Washington and Venice. Pretty another booming kick across midfield. Doyle comes away with it, backtracks across her own side of the field. Now turns upfield now. Looking for Trucy, give and go. Trucy regains possession, turns the corner. 
looking ahead for Anderson, but instead finds Schultz. Tracy able to get it back, however, and Portillo again comes away with it. It's good defense from Schultz and Portillo. Stops the fast break for the Wildcats. Pickens did a good job coming over, knocking that one out of play. Anderson's been staying on this near side, looking to get ahead. Get As you see the lights, call. lights go out behind us, so it's a little bit darker for us on this side. I think they call that cinema setting on, on your TV at home. So Allen for the Wildcats will come over to take this free kick just across midfield on her own side. 11.35 left. No score in this one. Johnson and Wales University Women's Soccer taking on Washington Adventist. Allen sends it. Middle of the field, headed up off of Lorios and back down by Ertl. Tracking it down is Duraso, fighting off one defender, gains possession. And off the foot of Martinez, Santos comes away with it for the shock. Martinez trying to get back. Santos works away inside now. Looks to line one up, skips one across and gathered by Pretty again. So Pretty very active. Past about eight minutes of play here. Pretty doing a great job so far. She's playing with a what they call a boxer's fracture on her finger. And she's playing through it and doing well. She's got a little specially modified keeper's gloves to fit over her soft cast. Can tell by the live chat we got a a lot of Washington Adventist fans tuning in tonight. We welcome them along. Thanks for tuning in. Glad we could bring this one to you. Again, Wildcat fans, if you're out there, tune in tomorrow at 525. Women's volleyball taking on to Coat Falls. First serve at 530. We'll be in the Wildcat Center gym for that one. We got homecoming, homecoming games tomorrow and Saturday. On Saturday, we'll have the doubleheader back here at Ortho Carolina as both men's and women's soccer will be taking on Piedmont International. Those will be at 12 and 2. So here we are, crossing under 10 minutes to play. No score in this one. The shock on the attack. Amaguana looking ahead for Santos. Got held up a little bit by Allen. Allen recovers. Santos trying to get around her, works away inside the box. Good cutoff by Allen. Stops on a dime as Santos inside on Maguana. Whiffs on it. Oh, man. That was a good opportunity there. It was a great opportunity missed by the shock there. So it's going to roll back to Pretty. Scoops it up. Wildcats will head down the field. Pretty will look to boom this one again on the left side. High bounce. Doyle there along with Trucy. Fighting along with Ertl of the shock. And it's going to find Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith works her way through the middle. And that pass cut off by Schultz again. Smith it with it again, trying to find Look Anderson. She does, squeaks it through. Anderson with it all alone in the corner. Pauses, hesitates, and centers one in, dribbles it, and Perez will pick it up. So not enough on that one to get it to Doyle or Trucy. And Perez will scoop that one for the goal kick coming up. Off the chest of Gomez. And across to Santos. Excuse me, Portillo. Now to Santos. Trying to use her speed. Martinez racing back. Allen and Gare. Both there for the Wildcats. And trying to split the defenders to Santos. Not trying to get call for the foul. As Allen got a little hand grab there. The Wildcats play, play on. on. And the Wildcats do get out of danger with that one. Under eight minutes left in the half. Gomez with it now, finds Doyle ahead for the Wildcats. Trying to feed Trucy. Pass just a little short, and the shock will regain possession. Ertl works it across midfield. Down here across to Schultz. Applying the pressures, Anderson. Anderson trips, good move by Schultz. Gets ahead of Gonzalez. Has Almaguana in front, trying to get by Hill. A good cutoff there. Pickens still there in the mix for the Wildcats, and Doyle runs that one down, finds Smith. Smith, middle of the field now, ahead to Doyle. Shock player falls down. 
And give and go. Smith now looking to use her speed. Three. She does. Look at her speed. Can she go? Gets a shot off. What a save from Perez. Wow. Point break shot by Smith and Perez Man. up to the task there. Seven minutes in the half, still no score. It was a great opportunity for Smith to capitalize, but a great save from Perez. Smith outran three shock players who all had an angle on her and just beat them all. And Perez, the only one back, the keeper making a great save on a point blank opportunity from Jaden Smith. So foul on the Wildcats would be free kick for Schultz just across in the Wildcat side of the field. Six. Short kick across to Ertl. Ertl now, a lot of room to work with, brings it up, gets past Doyle. Looking ahead for Gonzalez, gives it back to Schultz. Schultz will take it herself before she's cut off by Pickens, and that ball played up by Duraso back across midfield and in a roll down here out of bounds. And they'll have the throw in. Under six minutes to play. Ball thrown into Gonzalez, off her head. Anderson falls down. Ertl with it now for the shot. Goes through the legs of Larios, but that passed too far ahead of Gonzalez. But it'll say it tipped off a Wildcat foot, so it'll stay with the shock. Schultz with the throw in again. On, We're staying down this near sideline. 5.28 left in the half. Both teams looking for a good opportunity to capitalize here before we go into intermission. Wildcats just missed one themselves with Smith being denied point blank by Perez. Martinez brings it across midfield for the Wildcats. And pass quickly taken again. There's Portillo in the mix of things. Gives it ahead to Cruz. Works away inside now across to Amaguana. Trying to get it ahead to Santos, but falling on it was Allen. Stopped it on a dime and rolled right over the ball. And now it's Trucy working away across midfield. Gets by one defender, works her way through the middle. Gets by another. Finds Doyle ahead. Doyle trying to feed it back to her before the shot played out. And it finds Portillo. Gets it across midfield now for the shot. Now the Washington and Venice on the attack going the other way. And they didn't give it away. It's Trucy. Try to get the steal there. Shock still with it. Durso and Smith still in the mix. 4-16 left in the half, and Pickens is going to try to get it to Anderson. Couldn't come back to it in time. It'll go out of bounds, and Schultz again. Bottom of your screen here to toss it in for the Shock. Fighting against Anderson. They'll get Anderson with the, excuse me, Gonzalez with the arm bar. Trying to fend off Anderson. I thought they were going to get Anderson with that call. Official had it at a, the opposite angle as us, so she able to see something that we didn't. They made a quick call. Wildcats will take it. 3.45 left to play. Free kick coming from Jackie Gomez. <laughs> Gomez, short kick. Played down quickly by the shot. And Amaguana comes away with it. Tried to do the give and go back to headed up by Gonzalez. Durso across to Trucy. Trucy back inside now has Smith working to her left. Doyle ahead. That's going to go back to Durso again. Cross under three minutes to go in the half. Jaden Smith, Durso looking for Gomez, still fighting for it. Schultz falls, so they'll get the foul on Gomez. Gomez with the discard on Schultz there. So two, about 2.35 will be left when they get this free kickoff. It'll be Schultz taking it. Short kick played by Durso. And gets right by Larios. Doyle had it, but then quickly taken back by Larios. And Portillo there, <laughs> along with Trucy, 
fighting for the ball, and the Wildcats come away with it. Middle of the field is Gomez. 2.12 left. Plays it ahead, Anderson. Off her foot, back to Schultz. Gonzalez with it. Gets by one defender, finds Amaguada. Inside is Portillo. Duraso walks away with it for the Wildcats. A little bit behind, Martinez has to recover. Gives it back to Allen. Under two minutes to go, 150 left before half. Let's go, get one, look at Aubrey! Smith fighting for it. Larios gets the pass between her legs. Looking ahead is Amaguana, but that's going to roll back to Pretty. Probably looking at both teams can control it. About two more possessions each for a team to get a good attack going. Pretty booms that one across midfield. Played up by Schultz. Nye Hill hits that one off her leg, finds Trucy. And the mix of things is Davis for the shock, fighting off Trucy. Look at the call on Trucy. So shock free kick. Right across midfield, 105 left. A little bit, under a minute to go now. No score in this one. Both teams looking to convert before they go into half. 52 seconds left. Short kick goes by everybody. And Santos now. And that one rebounds. Away as we reach 35 seconds left. Lario sends it across midfield. Headed up by Trucy. Doyle pops it up. Still going for it off her shoulder. Works around one defender, and Amaguana looked like she had it away, but they'll call a foul on her, so free kick. Wildcats got to go quick here. 17 seconds. Amaguana. in 14 minutes with your second half
All right, we are just about set to go with second half action between Washington and Venice and Johnson and Wales. We have no score in this match here. Both teams had a couple of chances to find the back of the net in the first half. Nobody could. If you were not with us earlier this afternoon slash evening, the Johnson and Wales men came out victorious by a score of two to nothing over the Washington Aventus men. So the Wildcats complete the season sweep of the shock. Both scores 2-0 in that matchup. They improved to 8-1 on the season. They'll be in action again Saturday as part of homecoming activities, 2 p.m. right here. North Carolina Sportsplex will have the action for you on the Wildcat Sports Network. If you're not able to join us in person, we'd love to have you out here. Wildcat women. Also in action Saturday, they have a noon kickoff with Piedmont International. And don't forget tomorrow night volleyball. Five As we get homecoming weekend in full swing for 2018. Mardi Gras is the theme. Lots of activities surrounding homecoming. Check the Johnson & Wales Charlotte website for more information. Tickets are still available for all the activities. I know there's a, a tailgate lunch tomorrow in Lot A. There is a gala Saturday night. There's a movie. There's Minute to Win It. There's all kinds of things going on. Stuff for alumni and parents as well. A coffee breakfast with the President Malik. We are just about set to go. Wildcats come back with Doyle, Trucy, Smith, Duraso, Lunsford, Garcia, Pickens, Hill, Allen, Martinez, and Pretty and Gold. Wildcats did not make a sub, or excuse me, Wildcats made two subs in the first half. Washington Venice made none. So the Wildcats are back out with their starting lineup. So we are set to go. Both teams switch sides of the field now. The Shock, who have it now, are in black. Or the dark blue looks black on your screen. They'll be going left to right, and Wildcats are in white going right to left. As we start this second half, again, no score in this one. It's been a tight match the whole way. Wildcats had the single best scoring opportunity when Jaden Smith got in one-on-one -on -one with Perez, the Washington and Venice keeper. And Perez, they want to make a great save to keep the Wildcats off the board. Chuck, I'll tell you one thing. Washington Adventus has invaded our live chat. Check on there. We got a whole blog going, a whole group. And it's Doyle with it now. Doyle gets by one defender. Works away through the middle. Gets cut off by Ertl. Leaves it for Trucy. Centers that one in and grabbed by Perez. Well, good for the Washington and Venice fans. We're glad they're tuned in tonight. They found us out here on the YouTube airways. Don't know if you saw it last night, but YouTube went down for about an hour and a half. People were freaking out because YouTube was down. If it was late at night, I wouldn't have noticed. I'm it was about, uh, about 9.30 or so. Yeah, it's a bit past my bedtime, Chuck. Yeah, Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Par for the course. So a shock deep in Wildcat territory now, working through the way, and that one over the head and a goal! Whoa! What a shot! I believe that was Portillo. Deep shot for Portillo over Check Pretty's it. head. Check Nothing much that. she could have done about that one. Not sure if Yao Ming would have been able to get that one. Get Portillo from it's either Portillo or Santos. We'll sec check the PA here in a sec. I think it was Santos, number six, that got that one. So, shot either way, man. Washington that's a Venice good on angle the board. And a high arcing kick in the back corner. Giving their fans that are tuned in something Let's to go. cheer about. Let's go, Get it back. So just like that, Washington and Venice shocks the Wildcats early here in this second half. A minute and just over 30 seconds gone. The shock find themselves up 1-0 against Johnson and Wales. So they do. It was Jennifer Santos scoring that goal. So 
So it'll be free kick for Perez. That ball went out of bounds back at the end line. So now the Wildcats playing from behind. Going to need to be a little more aggressive trying to find the equalizer. The scoreboard hasn't updated. It still says 0-0, but it is clearly 1-0 Washington Adventist lead. Ball on the Wildcats side of the field again. This time it's Gonzalez on the top of your screen on that far side. Santos in the mix as well. Schultz gathers it, works it back across midfield. Sends it in deep, but played out by Nia Hill and out of bounds. So the shock will have a quick throw in right in front of their own bench. Schultz walks down to take it. Throws it in. Larios over her head, a little bit too high and a little miss kick from Hill. Able to recover, though. But still the shock with possession. Got the live inside. Doyle now takes it right away. Doyle now working away across midfield. Has two defenders draped on the back for it. Tries to get away from Schultz. Working down the sideline. Has Davis in front of her. Cut off by Davis. Works Doyle all the way in the corner. And it will roll out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick coming up for the Wildcats. First of the half. I believe first of the game for the Wildcats. I believe you're right. That is the first corner of the game. So what the Wildcats like to do, the little short, quick give and go with Doyle and Trucy. As you see Trucy and Doyle, and there they are. Doyle gets it now back from Trucy. And that one played out. Good defense there by the shock. They knew it was coming. Doyle falls down. They'll get the foul on Davis. Free kick, 15 yards just outside the right side of the box. Four minutes. Tuning in. Washington and Venice got a goal from Jennifer Santos just about over a minute into this half, putting the shock up 1-0 on the Wildcats. And right now on the opposite side of the field is Danielle Doyle with a free kick opportunity. She has about let's see, one, two, three, four, five of her teammates lined up on the left side, top of the box. They'll look to crash on the goal. Unless they decide to play this one short, I don't think they do. Doyle lines it up, high kick, centering. Knocked down by Perez, takes a Wildcat player down. But the Wildcats will be called with the foul. Interference with the goalkeeper. Job, it was Evelyn. Evelyn Garcia in the mix with Perez. Perez a little shaken up, but she looks to be okay. Way to go, Primo, it off. So the shock will line the goal kick up. Maybe Schultz to take the kick. Her team leading 1-0 here. 40 minutes left in this one. Again, earlier today, it was the men's team of Johnson and Wales getting the best of Washington and Venice. They defeated them 2-0. Ball now with Ashley Luntz for the Wildcats. A little burst of speed. Gets by one defender. It's Davis trying to work back, get the angle. That one sent it off of Ertl. It'll be... I think they're going to call a handball. Hand ball, yep. So Wildcats get a free kick. About the same spot as Santos scored for Washington to Venice. So just about two yards outside the box on that right side. Danielle Doyle. Again to This time the Wildcats send six in the box. Pickens, Lunsford, Duraso, and Trucy all there. Centering kick headed up by Trucy. Still in the air. Grabbing it as Perez. Ball still on the ground. And it's kicked out by the shock. Two Wildcats collide. Can't tell who's down. It's Smith. And she gets up on her own. She looked like she gave the thumbs up to Lunsford. Has her hands on her head. Not sure if she got the wind knocked out of her. No, maybe somebody landed on her head as they were Something. jumping up to get that ball. There was a lot of traffic right in that area in front of Perez, the keeper. She's and Smith was along over in there. a little bit as she's walking. Still trying to shake it off. Nevertheless, she'll stay in. 
it will be a Wildcat throw in. Martinez will run over, toss it in. Martinez, short throw. Off the foot of Duraso, and the shot come away with it. Duraso tracking back. Right in the mix there is Cruz. Headed down by Allen, tipped up by Smith. Doyle trying to create some separation. Five shot players right in the mix there. Take that one away. That one skips right over Martinez and finds Santos. Gets around one defender. It's Allen racing back is Hill now. Allen cuts inside and Santos takes down Hill. Coming up is pretty. Ball still alive. Shot wide left. Oh, he missed it. It was a wide open net opportunity for Gonzalez, but she couldn't convert. Gonzalez, I think, was going to try and one-time that instead of play it to her feet and control it, and she just whiffed on it. And like you said, Kelly, it was a wide open net as Pretty had gone to the ground to make the save on Santos. So that was a missed opportunity there for the shock. They would have went up 2-0 on that one. Instead, it stays at 1-0, 37-35 left in this one. Ertl trying to fight off Trucy in the middle of the field. Gets it ahead. Portillo, short kick, not enough on that one to get it ahead to Santos. It goes right back to Malloy. And now it's Cruz working ahead across the midfield to Schultz. Can't get around Lunsford. Just gets it ahead, but Ertl's there. And plays it back to Perez, who booms it ahead across midfield. Off the knee of Portillo and headed back in on the shock side by Allen. And off the foot of Ertl. Reached a little too far on that one. Ertl came up with a little hobble. And Ertl trying to shake it off. That one played over there. On the far sideline, top of your screen. Shock with it now. Excuse me, Wildcats as Pickens got it right back. Nice feed inside to Smith. Smith trying to use her speed again like she did in that first half. Had a great opportunity to score. It was a great save by Perez. That shut out the Wildcats in the first half. And that one skipped over the foot of Trucy out of bounds. It'll be a shock throw in. Throw in to Ertl. Finds ahead to Portillo. Smith tracking her down the backside. Gets ahead to Cruz. Has Santos to her left. Works inside behind Santos. And Hill plays that one out. And that one will roll out of bounds. And they're waiting for the call. And it is a Wildcat throw in. So Martinez looking for Trucy down the sideline. And it skips down the line out of bounds. Off her foot. It'll be a shock throw in. Finds Larios and switches sides of the field over to Schultz. Let's it go by her, and Lunsford's going to come away with it for the Wildcats. Garcia, one touch ahead. Lunsford trying to show off that speed. Unable to get to it that time, and the shock regained possession right at midfield. Controlling it was Amaguana. And she gets it back to Schultz, who plays it ahead. Good job keeping it alive as Gonzalez. Ball far on that sideline over there, top of your screen. Ball still in play. It's hard to see. There's a lot of bodies over there. Ball just bouncing around, and finally white jerseys come away with it. And then they give it right back. Portillo now in the mix for the shock. They're going to regain possession. Ertl now with it. Right side the circle. Plays it back. Switches sides back to Davis. And they turn and get it ahead. Looking for Santos. Nice feed. And Hill, the only defender on Santos. Hill, nice job cutting her off. And this will be a goal kick coming up for the Shock. 34-19 left to go in this one. Shock leading already 1-0. It's going to be a good opportunity to go up 2-0. They had one about five minutes ago. A skip right in front of the goal. Wide open net. Gonzalez couldn't convert. But here they are with a corner kick. It will be Schultz in that far corner to take the kick. Ventus has six players lined up in the middle of the box. 
That one skips right through, headed out by Lunsford. Ball still on the ground. Finds Schultz again, tries this time and over the goal and out of bounds. So I think she was trying to do what Santos did and put it high in the sky on that hard angle and find the back of the net. But unable to as she finds the out of bounds line. And it'll be a goal kick for Kylie Pretty. Pretty's going to switch sides of the field. Wildcats shift over to the right side. Pretty waiting for someone to move to get open. She finally sends it away. Short kick headed back in. Pretty's got to come up quick. Allen trying to cut her off. And she does. Good effort there. It was Wildcats Allen and Pretty just cutting off Santos. Kick, but nothing else really they could do is that was kind of a tweener ball. Not enough for Pretty to get to it, but Allen had to track back and send it over the end line. So again, it'll be Schultz in that far corner for the corner kick coming up for the shock. Moving inside is Larios. High kick coming up for us, Pretty. Gets back to her spot, and Schultz, about the same thing. This time plays it short to Larios. Moving inside the box, a short kick. Hopped up and wide left out of bounds. So Wildcats playing with fire here in this past minute of play. Dodge a bullet. Still 32 minutes left in this one. That's a short roller over to Allen. Got to go quick. Santos applying the pressure. I was going to find Smith. Works away from two defenders, and Garcia couldn't get to that pass in time as the shock regained possession. Right at midfield inside the circle, they get it ahead, looking for Santos. Smith finds Doyle ahead. Doyle gets shoved from behind. Easy call there for the official. And that will be no card issued. The ref will, yep, card issued to Michelle Amaguana. That was pretty blatant. Just two hands shoved right in Doyle's back. So it'll be Lunsford. Number 14, Ashley Lunsford for the Wildcats to take the free kick. Again, yellow card issued to number 15, Michelle Amaguana of Washington and Adventus. 31-37 left in the second half. The Shock leading the Wildcats 1-0. So Lunsford line this one up. Nice kick, middle of the field, top of the box. Trucy falls down. Excuse me, Washington Venice player falls down. It was Trucy there for the Wildcats. And they skip it over the head of everybody. Wildcats got to get back. The shock looked like they were on the attack. Good hustle from Duracell. Kind of stopped that one as up, Santos now with the chance to break away, working away through the middle. Four Wildcats there. Able to boot that one out. Good Martinez job. cleaning up the mess for Johnson and Wales. Doyle trying to regain possession, fighting along with Amaguana, who's just issued a yellow card. Trying to create some space over there as Portillo played out by Hill. Garcia's going to track it down, try to send it ahead to Doyle, but pass too far inside. It's going to find Larios of the shock. Duraso grabs it, creates some space, finds Martinez, trying to keep it alive inside, has Malloy in front of her. And Disagreeing with the foul call. No real protest after that. Ball off the foot of Allen, and Pretty will come out and send it out of bounds for a throw in. It was going to be a corner if Pretty didn't clear it off the line. So the Wildcats would rather give up the throw than the corner. So it'll be Malloy to take this throw in for the shot. Finds her teammate Cruz. Lurking behind her is Trucy of the Wildcats. It's going to skip right by and it'll go to Pretty.
Brady's going to let her team get up the field. Doyle the furthest of the head. And nearly got it to her. She'll probably get it to her on the high bounce, and she does. Doyle right in the mix along with three Washington Adventist players. And the shot come away with it again. On the attack now is the shot. Gonzalez working away up that far sideline. Good job Tries to get Pickens. by Pickens. Track back and win that one away from her. Nice move by Lunsford. Keeps it alive and up the sideline. Gets right by one defender and finds Doyle. Doyle pauses. Tries to play it ahead for Trucy. Gets by one defender. And it's Malloy that takes that one away. Good angle there. Trucy really had to work to get that pass. And Malloy just had the right angle. Middle of the field now. It's Duraso for the Wildcats. Between the legs of one shock player, fighting for it still is Smith. And now it's going to play over to Malloy here. Has Martinez in front of her. Martinez gets it right back. Had Trucy middle, was calling for it. That would have been a good opportunity. Middle of the field now, it's Almaguana. Creating some space from Smith and sends it ahead. Getting behind Martinez is Cruz. Cruz now a lot of green in front of her. Closing out is Martinez. Just outside the box is Matillo. That one quickly played out by Hill. And played down by Smith who controls it for the Wildcats. And finds Doyle ahead in the middle of the field. Twenty-seven, thirty-eight left in this one. The shock leading the Wildcats 1-0. Shock had some great opportunities to possibly go up by another goal. Instead, we sit at 1 0. High arcing kick from Pretty right at midfield. The shock play it down. Come on, White, kick it up. Let's go. Ball kind of skips across right back to Ashley Allen for the Wildcats and hits it off the bounce. And now it'll roll back again to Ashley Allen. Plays it middle to Duraso. Skips it right between one defender's legs to Martinez. Back to Smith who leaves it ahead for Trucy. Trucy working away through the defense. Middle of the field. Looking for Doyle. That pass cut off. And LaRoyce comes away with this. Still fighting for it as Doyle. They're going to get the call. On Washington and Ventus, it'll be free kick for the Wildcats. They're going to call Larios with the foul. 26-20 to go in this game. Ashley Allen will come up for the free kick. Doyle will move in on the left side, just outside the box. Duraso, Trucy, and Garcia move on the right side outside the box. Allen lines it up. Played middle off the foot of Ertl. And it goes left side, moving in that corner now, going back to get it. Off of Doyle, plays it inside, and it skips right towards Perez. Trucy, she would have been moving a little bit more forward, would have had an opportunity to maybe get a foot on that one and redirect the course of that ball. Instead, it's the shot going the other way. And she forced a tough shot by Santos. Wildcats will get a sub here. Jackie Gomez will come in for Garcia. Substitution for your Wildcats. Check it into the game number six, Jacqueline Gomez. Again, Washington Adventus, no subs in this game. Nobody even warming up on the sideline for the shot. So I think these 11 are in it to win it at this point. I count. 22 on their roster as Santos was a call for the offsides call. I count 22 on their roster, but I only see one, two, three, four players on their bench. So a lot of the team must be staying at home, either hurt or just Let's taking a week off. Didn't make the trip. Be aggressive. If this was the NFL. They would have been listed as, as inactive. I think. The, the men's team and the women's team both traveled out on one bus. I gotta wonder if 
number of seats was a factor. Shock again, deep in the Wildcat territory, and they kick that one out of bounds. It'll still be a shock throw in right in front of the score. We have another Wildcat set to check in here soon. I believe that's Aubrey Anderson with the blue hair. Ready to come in for the Wildcats. 24 minutes left in this one. Wildcats down 